Baal and the dragon, Bel and the dragon. And King Atziagis was gathered to his fathers, and Koresh of Persia received his kingdom. And Daniel conversed with the king and was honored above all his friends. Now the inhabitants of Babel had an idol called Baal, and there were spent upon him every day twelve great measures of fine flour and forty sheep and six vessels of wine. And the king worshipped it and went daily to adore it. But Daniel worshipped his own Elohim, and the king said unto him, Why do you not worship Baal? He answered and said, Because I may not worship idols made with hands, but the living Elohim, who has created the heavens and the earth, and has sovereignty over all flesh. Then said the king unto him, Do you not think that Baal is a living Elohim? Do you not see how much he eats and drinks every day? Then Daniel smiled and said, O king, be not deceived, for this is but clay within and brass without, and did never eat or drink anything. So the king was wroth, and called for his priests, and said unto them, If ye tell me not who this is that devours these expenses, ye shall die. But if ye can certify me that Baal devours them, then Daniel shall die, for he has spoken blasphemy against Baal. And Daniel said unto the king, let it be according to your word. Now the priests of Baal were threescore and ten, beside their women and children, and the king went with Daniel into the temple of Baal. So Baal's priests said, Lo, we go out. But you, O king, set on the meat, and make ready the wine, and shut the door fast, and seal it with your own signet. And deliver when you come out, rather, and tomorrow when you come in, if you find not that Baal has eaten up all, we will suffer death, or else Daniel that speaks falsely against us. And they little regarded it, for under the table they had made a privy entrance, whereby they entered in continually and consumed those things. So when they were gone forth, the king set meats before Baal. Now Daniel had commanded his servants to bring ashes, and those they strewed throughout all the temple in the presence of the king alone. Then went they out and shut the door and sealed it with the king's signet, and so departed. Now in the night came the priests with their women and children, as they were wont to do, and did eat and drink up all. In the morning early the king arose, and Daniel with him. And the king said, Daniel, are the seals whole? And he said, Yea, O king, they be whole. And as soon as he had opened the door, the king looked upon the table and cried with a loud voice, Great are you, O Baal, and with you is no deceit at all. And then laughed Daniel and held the king that he should not go in and said, Behold now the pavement, and mark well whose footsteps are these. And the king said, I see the footsteps of men, women, and children. And then the king was angry and took the priests with their women and children who showed him the privy doors, rather, who showed him the privy doors where they came in and consumed such things as were upon the table. Therefore the king slew them, and delivered Baal into Daniel's power, who destroyed him and his temple. And in that same place there was a great dragon, which they of Babel worshipped. And the king said unto Daniel, Will you also say that this is of brass? Lo, he lives, he eats and drinks, you cannot say that he is no living Elohim. Therefore worship him. Then said Daniel unto the king, I will worship Yahuwah Elohai, for he is the living Elohim. But give me leave, O king, 
and I shall slay this dragon without sword or staff. Then, rather, the king said, I give you leave. Then Daniel took pitch and fat and hair and did seethe them together and made lumps thereof. This he put in the dragon's mouth, and so the dragon burst in sunder. And Daniel said, Lo, these are the Elohim ye worship. When they of Babel heard that, they took great indignation and conspired against the king, saying, The king is become a Yahudi, and he has destroyed Baal. He has slain the dragon and put the priests to death. So they came to the king and said, Deliver us, Daniel, or else we will destroy you and your house. Now when the king saw that they pressed him sore, being constrained, he delivered Daniel unto them. Who cast him into the di li rather, who cast him into the lion's den, where he was six days? And in the den there were seven lions, and they had given them every day two carcasses and two sheep, which then were not given to them, to the intent they might devour Daniel. Now there was in Yahuda a prophet called Habakkuk, who had made pottage and had broken bread in a bowl and was going into the field for to bring it to the reapers. But the angel of Yahuwah said unto Habakkuk, Go, carry the dinner that you have into Babel unto Daniel, who is in the lion's den. And Habakkuk said, Adonai, I never saw Babel, neither, neither do I know where the den is. Then the angel of Yahuwah took him by the crown and bore him by the hair of his head and through the vehemency of his ruach sent him in Babel over the den. And Habakkuk cried, saying, O Daniel, Daniel, take the dinner which Elohim has sent you. And Daniel said, You have remembered me, O Elohim. Neither have you forsaken them that seek you and love you. So Daniel arose and did eat. And the angel of Yahuwah set Habakkuk in his own place again immediately. Upon the seventh day the king went to bewail Daniel. And when he came to the den, he looked in, and behold, Daniel was sitting then cried the king with a loud voice, saying, Great is Yahuwah Elohim of Daniel, and there is none other beside you. And he drew him out and cast those that were the cause of his destruction into the den. And they were devoured in a moment before his face.